was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Hey guys, hey Brady here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Crossout, hope you guys are doing well. Today we are checking out probably one of the coolest looking and sounding shotguns in the game. It is the new Relic Shotgun, the German Gander. Let me check if I said that right, German, German, German Gander, it's a kind of difficult name, name because when I see German, I want to say German. German gander like I don't know man it sounds kind of weird all right before we start if you guys haven't subscribed yet I'm almost at 10k subscribers so I'm trying to get there uh please sub and leave a like because that helps me out a lot now let's uh quickly check out this build this is a new relic type of junk bow shotgun so if you look at the family tech tree right now you got the junk bow we got the family we got the nidhogg and then we got the German gander which is a very very fun weapon um it's gonna be i want i kind of want to see like a 1v1 someone using these and someone using parsers to see who comes out on top uh but enough talk this is just gonna be some you know first look of the weapons not gonna be like a full review the full review will come later uh but let's quickly check out the stats for this thing um it, i kind of feel like it has a little bit low durability only 390 but i do believe it might get buffed a bit later but I don't know, I'm, it's too early to tell. Mass is 320, 35 kilograms, four energy drain, which is, you know, just like any other junk bow shotgun. Damage is pretty decent, fire rate is pretty fast. Range is horrible, accuracy is horrible, just like the normal junk bow shotgun. So the perk is if the first shot lands, like all your shells, the second shot heats up the targets when you fire, which is pretty nice. I do like the perk. So let me just quickly read it for you guys. If at least half of the pellets hits the enemy, the next shot will be fired with increased projectiles that heat up the parts on impact. Damage to these parts increase up to 100% depending on the heat heating level, which is uh, pretty cool. I just want to show you guys this effect real quick. We just quickly shoot at. Okay, we got out. We got a nice uh, Leviathan here. All right. So let me just nope, let's line them up so we don't shoot anything else. So we got 378, right? But with a charge shot, oh, like double, oh. And the effect, let me just quickly show you guys the effect. It's so cool. It just lights up some kind of torch and then you get like explosive rounds, just like dragons of bread shells or something. But yeah, enough talk. I'll leave all um, how this build is made in the end of the video. So you guys can check that out as well. Let's quickly check what it's made of right now. So we got three, German Ganders, we got the Deadman Cabin, Chameleon Mark II, we got six of these buggy wheels, we got a Cheetah Engine and a Reload Module, of course, and a PU-1 Charge Radiator. So, without any further ado, you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, welcome to Sinto City, we got someone over here, see them up. Oh, unfortunately, he backed up just in time. We got Big G2. Uh oh, get out of this fire. Go for big G2. <laughs> oh god. Oh dude, thank you. Beautiful. A little help from my team would be appreciated. But maybe I don't need my team. I can do this on my oh nope I can't dude that German Jurgen gun gander it's uh it's really strong if only I had like a tankier build I could have easily taken them out I think all right guys welcome to the desert valley uh we got one single target over here it's probably a must look up just in case it's up oh, I see you bro boy. oh man oh Whoa, 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 dude. Check where you're going. Oh, oh nope. Let's get this scorpion bot. It is powerful. I'm not gonna. Oh my god, it, it is really powerful. That's a lot of recoil as well. Oh, 
I'm going again with my... Get out of here. I need to fall back a little bit. We're still good. We're still good. We'll let our team handle them for a little bit and then we'll pick them off. Oh, like, let's go for Big 2G. I think he's a drone build. Should be easy to take care of. Range wasn't that great. Ooh, nope. Don't want to deal with him. Okay, he is distracted by King. Let's go now. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, come on. There we go. Beautiful. I got you, King. Back it up a little bit. Nice. There we go. Beautiful there. All right. One more target left. It's Lucifer Stern Desson. Some people got some weird names, man. Like, what does that even mean? That means I'm a Capcan boy. And I'm about to get Jerkin Commandered. Alright, guys, welcome to the bridge. We got Paul on the bridge here using Fortune. We got Mega Mac over there as well with his machine guns. Let's back it up. Wait for Paul to shoot. Nice. The range on these isn't like exaggerating like the parses. So I don't think, I don't feel like it's OP. You need to be super close. But if you're close, it deals so much damage. Okay, we got someone pushing up here. Hannah. Damn. Dude, it's so amazing, dude. It just, it's the coolest sounding and looking shotgun in the game. All right, let's go down here a little bit. We got Grace. We got a bunch of bots over here. Um, kind of don't want to run. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with that uh, KTM build, the machine gun build, because he might be able to strip us pretty quickly. Dude, I wonder what it's like to be on the receiving end of this, because it feels like... It shoots a lot of flashing stuff at you. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like, does the enemy get blinded a little bit or something? Oh my god. It feels like it because I only got one spark and gun. Man, it must be annoying to get hit by that. It's like... I don't know. It feels like you're getting hit point blank with a Mastodon with these things. Really, really devastating. Look at this guy. This guy gave up already. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Welcome to Founders Canyon. Uh, ooh, we got... Okay, no. Never mind. <laughs> Abigail, Madison. We got two bots. We got Olivia over here as well. Cloaked up a little bit. I don't want to get uh, double teamed by bots here. Hmm. It feels like it gets it. No, I was gonna say it, it felt. It felt like it got an increased range when the perk is active, but no, that's not the case. All right, let's get rid of Abigail over here. There we go, beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm getting in this guy's way each time. Madison next. Man, it, it just looks, the effect looks so cool. Let's cloak up, go behind them. There's a lot of, nobody has radar detector? Come on, that's, uh, that's not good. Uh, okay, a Pearson Brad. I think there's someone over here who we can uh, easily chew up. Look at this guy over here. Oh, dude, I just gave him that shot. GG. That does, uh, that was my bad. Kind of made a wrong move there, wrong turn. So I got myself lined up. Oh my god. Barkster still OP. Getting rid of my gun in one go.
beautiful. Beautifully done. Got that partial build over here. Yes, yes. Oh no, he got my thing. Oh no. Uh, Barsha still dominating. Ah, there we go. He finally got him. Alright guys, welcome to Narco Grad. We got a bot over here. Abigail bot. Let's go for Kenneth real quick. Oh. It's like spitting fire on them. Oh no, I lost the gun. Dang, was that a spike? I think so. <laughs> you ran into a thing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what, what an interesting looking spider Vigram build. Oh, dudes, come on. Holy crap. Oh, dodge that fortune. Oh, they got a chungus, a big chungus here. Oof. Oh no, I'm getting fortune. Oh! We're still... Oh, we're still good. We got like four wheels left. It's just one gun. It's not sparking, so that's good to know. Oh, there he is. Oh, who's this? Oh, let's get this guy. No! No, no, no! Oh! Underslung Mastodon. Holy moly. Dang. Well, guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think, honestly, the, uh, these weapons are a little bit too powerful for 13K. I don't know. It just feels like they're a bit too strong. Um, Not OB or anything, at least from the matches I've had. I haven't really played around with it. I need to play around with it a little bit more, and then I'll do a full review for you guys. To actually see what uh, what happens when you get the perk and stuff like that. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.